What's up guys? It's Matt with Galaxy Games 843. We're back with another video. This time we're at our barbershop location. And I hope everyone's having a great weekend so far. I know I am. Anyway, so here we are. We're at our barbershop location. You know we love our barbershop location. But this time, on this visit, things are a little bit different. First of all, when we walk in, we had some fans, guys. We we had uh, a couple a couple kids that, uh, I don't know if they watch your channel or not, but they <laughs> saw the cameras and they said, Hey, are you vlogging? Let me get in there. So I said, Yeah, jump on in. Say hello. So there we go. So we had some, uh, some, some guest fans joining us in the video this week. So I thought that was pretty cool. Anyway, here we are. We're going to open up our snack machine. We're going to start stocking things up. And then we'll do the uh, collection at the end. So previously, when we were at this location last time, we had a conversation with the business owner um, about upgrading the machine. And I want to let you know we're still kind of in the market for that. But we're kind of putting it on pause. And the reason why we're doing that is because on this trip the business owner told us he wants to renegotiate the commission structure of how we have things set up. So he's supposed to give me a phone call and we're going to go ahead and discuss that. So until we get that squared away, I am not going to per continue to pursue the new machine for this location until that, that little situation is settled. So comment down below, guys. If you had a situation like that where a business owner um, in the middle of service wants to renegotiate the commission structure of, of the sales and how that works, um, ultimately, if it's going to be a, a considerable amount of, 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 a, of an increase, I'm probably going to do a price increase on the actual items in the uh, in the machine. So I'm going to make sure that he's well aware of that. So, you know, I'm still, like I said, I'm waiting for his phone call. Um, he said he's going to call me at his convenience. So we'll, we'll definitely get that worked out once he gives me the call and we can discuss. But yeah, comment down below, guys, if you've dealt with a situation like that in the past. And, you know, share some tips on how you've handled that both myself and anyone else watching the video can definitely you know benefit from your tips all right so as you can see we've got a couple things already stocked up we got our lays classic stocked up we got our cheetos stocked up our doritos are stocked up our wise sour cream and onion and wise original chips are all stocked up now we're working on row number three in this row uh you can see the cheese that's are sold out and half of our cookies in each row are sold out. So in the one row, we do mini bags of cookies. There are mini Oreos and mini Chips Ahoy. We do those for 75 cents a piece. And then we have the famous Amos, which actually are a little bit bigger bags. And we do those for $1 a piece. So um, they actually really usually do really well here at this location. So I'm always going to keep those in stock. But I can't believe how much the Cheez-Its did. You know, the Cheez-Its are completely sold out. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, I personally am not a big fan of Cheez-Its, but they seem to do well at all my locations. So guys, tell me, do your uh, locations do well with Cheez-Its? Um, like I said, not my favorite, but I'm going to keep selling them because they do well. <laughs> all right. So yeah, while we're here, um, I'm also thinking about new things to put in the machine or what might be a good thing to try. Um, you know, this location does pretty well with hot stuff, but the only things I can find in hot stuff in the one ounce bags are the Takis, which we do have. And we are going to be stocking up in this location on this trip. Um, but like, if you look at like the uh, variety bags of the, um, I, I, are they Lay's? I think they're Lay's. But you get like the hot Doritos, the hot Funyuns, hot fries, hot, you know, all those different hot uh, things. The problem with those in this machine is those are 1.5 ounce bags. And this machine will get 1.5 ounce bags stuck. Yeah. So um, that's a really, a, it's actually a common problem with uh, older USI machines. So again, if we do upgrade this machine, that might be a possibility in the future. But right now, while we're still using this machine, it's just not a possibility. So comment down below. Let me know if there's a, something that you use in a one ounce bag that's on the hotter side that might be a good thing um, for this location. I'd love to hear about it. All right, look at that candy row. There's a lot sold out. So our Starburst are sold out. And we don't always stock up the Starburst all the way because it's got one of those half coil rows. And, and guys, I will never understand how those half coil rows work. So as you can see, the, the two rows on the left, they have like a spine running down the middle of the coil. And I don't know if they give half. I think they give half turns. So may, maybe somebody out there can explain this to me. So when I stock Starburst, I'll do one after the other in those rows. Um... Apparently, that's not how you do it. Maybe I'll have to do one on each side down the rows. I don't, I don't know. Because basically, every time I come here, every time I do my collection line before I, before I leave, I pay the commission and I pay any refunds, I'm always having to refund for Starburst. So we'll get to stocking that in just a second. You can tell me if I'm doing it wrong, guys, because I, I must be doing something wrong because it seems that every time I do this, about half of the Starburst vends don't end up vending a Starburst. So, yeah, I'm obviously do, doing something wrong. 
So there we go. We got our Skittles stocked up, m and stocked up. We're stocking up the Rice Krispie Treats. We got the Nesty Crunch stocked up. And we're going to go ahead and do some uh, Starburst. But guys, again, help me out with the Starburst. If I'm doing it wrong, let me know. Because I obviously, you know, I'm not a professional at this. I've only been doing this for a little over a year. So I'm still learning a lot of things as well. So hopefully you're learning from my videos as well. So here we go. Here's my Starburst. I'm putting one there and I'm putting one right next to it uh, on the left side of the spine. So do I need to go left, right, left, right? How does that work? Comment down below if you know the proper way to stock these with that spine down the middle of the coil. And tell me what I'm doing wrong, guys, because uh, it's not cool. All right, here we go. Next row, we got some Snickers. Although it looks like they're, I think the Snickers are completely sold out. There might be one, one or two up front. I can't tell. Um, but we also do the larger packs of Oreos here. We do those for a dollar. I think there's six Oreo cookies in the back. And we get those from Sam's Club as well. So we're getting those stocked up. We got to stock up our trail mix. Uh, what else we got? Um, the granola bars. They haven't sold well at all recently at all. So like I said, if we do change over to like a combo machine, the granola bars are going to be something that we're no longer probably going to be carrying. Or if we do, it's going to be very, very limited stocks. Um, maybe filler or something like that. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Um, I'm quickly realizing, though, what works really well at this location and what does not work really well. Yeah, look at that. I think the Snickers are completely sold out. So I'm going to grab a couple of the granola bars just to make it full. There we go. And then it's time to stock up the Snickers. So we just got a recently uh, brand new box from Sam's Club. Um, so that helps with uh, keeping inventory levels high. So I'm going to work my way from the back to the front. And then I'm going to also going to kind of put that drawer back in there so it has a little bit of more sturdiness when it comes to stocking the rest of the Snicker bars. All right, guys, now's a good time to remind you, if you haven't done so yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We've got lots of great content coming your way. We focus on vending and arcade machines. Um, and can we really kind of tie them both together? So we, we focus on newer games as well as older games. We do arcade restoral. We do vending placement. We do vending collection. We do all kinds of great stuff. So if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and click that subscribe button. While you're there, click the bell notification so you get a notification when our new videos go live. Also, when we do our live streams and all the good stuff, that way you can participate. Uh, while you're there, guys, make sure you click that thumbs up button to give us a like for this video and also share our video with your friends. All right, we're in our last row of stock. And as you can see, we're doing our cheese doodles. We have, what else have we got down there? I know we've got the barbecue chips and then the Takis. So those are the last three things to stock up on that bottom row. So all but two of the bags of Takis have sold. So you know they do well here. There we go. Uh, and also, don't don't forget about those Wise Chips, guys. I'm telling you, um, they are a really good deal. They're like 18 cents a bag, and we sell them for 75 cents a piece. So they do really well. So make sure you are trying those out those out in your machines if you haven't done so yet. All right, last thing we got to do is the Takis, and then it's time to do our collection. We'll pay our commission and talk to the owner about you know the uh, the negotiation and all the good stuff, and then we'll do a final count and wrap the video up from there. All right, what do we got? We got our Takis. Let's go ahead and get those stocked up so that way we, we can finish up and get the machine locked up, of course, before or after we do our collection. All right, there we go. Last couple bags of Takis to get stocked up and then we can move on. All right, there we go. All right, now that we got that taken care of, we're gonna make sure our work areas are put away for the most part. Everything is ready to go. Everything's clear. I'm trying to just stay organized and make sure we don't have a big mess going on. All right. Now that we got that taken care of, let's go ahead and do our collection. So we're going to start off with the coins in this machine. And remember, we never usually get a lot of coins out of most of our snack machines. Um, this one, however, this time around, it did a little better than I expected. Um, yeah, there we go. We'll do an actual count of the coins at the end of the video. So make sure you watch all the way to the end. Gonna put that back in there now i always struggle with this coin box getting it in and out it's just real tight in this machine all right next is our dollar bills so look at that fat stack guys we know the barbershop never disappoints when it comes to collecting the money from this machine look at that guys nice thick stack of dollar bills very good again we'll do a full count of those at the end of the video so make sure you watch all the way to the end it's actually coming up next so while we're here, let's go ahead and get this machine locked up. We'll go pay our commission, any refunds that are due, and we'll talk to the business owner about his question. All right, here we are. It's time to count the money. Let's start with the coin. So we're going to put it in our Royal Sovereign coin counting and sorting machine. And it's just going to do a quick count of those here. As you can see, it's going together. It's just, it's just sorting the coins out by quarters, dimes, and nickels. 
Lots of dimes this trip. Look at that. $11.70 in coins. A lot more than I expected. All right, let's do the dollars. Here we go. So this is our new Royal Sovereign uh, bill sorting machine or bill counting machine. And $110. So total with cash and coins, $121.70 for this collection. So definitely a great collection. I'm very happy with that. We'll take it. Um, yeah, I'm excited. All right, guys, thanks for watching all the way to the end of the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We got more great content coming your way. If you like vending and arcade videos, this is definitely the channel for you. While you're subscribing, make sure you click that bell notification so you get a notification when our new videos and our live streams go live. Also, give us a thumbs up to like our videos and don't forget to share our videos with your friends. We appreciate everyone's time watching our videos and everyone's support. All right, guys, let's wrap this video up. This is Matt with Galaxy Games 843. We'll see you next time.